multiple costs are on, usually that bad. A few hundred. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure what it's based on. I thought it was more of a flat rate based on... I know it's based on how much longer it has to heal and it's based on type of injury. Beyond that, I don't know if there's any other factors. Uh, but the price does go down the closer it is to being healed. I do know that. Um, it's not something I usually do early game. Later game, when money's less of a problem, it's something I will do then, if need be. I think they just treat it by wrapping it with, like, herbs. You know, something to that effect. What is this now, though? A masterwork purifier. Ah, it's a one-handed. It's not bad, though. If I were to find it, I'd be pretty excited, I guess. Regular one I can compare it to. 25 to 55. Yeah, it's not so bad at all, really. I'm not going to buy it, though. We're not that rich. Alright, to Muckenland. Yes, you have something really nice. Ooh, you do. 37 fatigue for 372. Whew. That is nice. Oof. It's so nice. Fortunately, we can't buy it, but you know. It's still nice. Boy can dream. Roger the Merciless. He's expensive. Probably not worth it. The garrison commander fought in the battle of any names. Claims larger orcs shrug off hits to the head. Don't know what to make of this. Alright. Enough fooling around. Let's get to Muckinland. I would like to be going back out here. But we'll save up a little bit more money first. Ooh, quick reactions there. Um, I'm not sure if these guys are going to try to fight us or not. Uh, I should probably find out, though. They seem to want to run from us. That's good. I'm not super interested in fighting them. They don't have anything for us. I doubt we'd make much money fighting them. And we're not really in great shape, so let's just avoid them. So I'll show you the temple here. They have one here. Uh, a refuge from the harsh world outside. You can seek healing here for your wounded in prayer for, for salvation of your eternal soul. So yeah, I don't think it's it's praying. Wounds have have wounds treated so they heal faster and don't worsen on the road. Uh, so there's two sides for it. But yeah, as they heal over time, see like this pure side has two different prices. So maybe it's maybe it's by level two. That would make some sense. Uh, but it's kind of a steep price, especially like early game. Fractured hand, one to two days. I mean, a fair amount of these will probably heal by the time we get there. This one might not, so maybe we'll pay for that. The fatigue ones don't bother me so much. Especially since they'll probably heal. Yeah, that's how I always look at a firewolf. To just have some linen and honey or something and wrap bloody things in it. Call it a day. That's what I do in the hospital at least. Just open up like a craft honey packet as you get from like a diner. Squeeze it on there. Uh, is that it? Yeah, I think so. No, it's not. No, it's not. We wanted to sell something soon. Yes, you, but we didn't repair you. Oh well, screw it. Screw it anyways. Uh, I don't think we repaired any of these things. Oh well. I keep hoping we're going to see some more uh, like beast slayers. Those guys, those guys seem pretty awesome. Good. Dog, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get people excited. We can afford it. We're doing all right. Scrolls probably another solid day away or so. It's a bunch of a bunch of undead. Uh, they seem to be scared of us. They have taken note and decided to go elsewhere. 
That's where they came from. There's lots of undead out here. We have yet to hit the second crisis, which I imagine would be soon. Prepackaged, honey. Not even going out there? No. Honeycomb big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pharmaceutical bumpies, man. They don't want us having the free range, honey. Bunch of dire wolves. It's uh, climbing this mountaintop. Dire wolves, are you chasing me? Please don't do that. They do appear to be chasing me. There's some people walking there. Alright, well, please leave me alone. And there's some rotting green skins up that way. Goblins. Ah, goblins. So we need to make it to midday to see some of our things heal. Uh, our more major things have healed. These minor ones. A decent chance of going. They all have a chance of going. But they're in those bushes right there. What good sirs do you have for us? Uh, not much, that's for sure, huh? Alright, fair enough. Attack storms. Oh, we could blow them bone plating. They're expensive, but let's take it. Completely absorbs the hit. First hit of every combat, which doesn't ignore armor. Like, that's pretty nice. Is it the nicest thing? No, surely not. There is nicer. But it's not bad. We'll keep it just on hand for now. Any good rumors for you? Alright, let's continue to kill a bit more time. That's not what I wanted from my... Let's check out these guys. Uh, that's gonna be a not fun or exciting fight. Kite, 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 kite. Should we draw on these peasants for fun? That could be funny. All right, so only one of them healed, but that's okay. Let's get in there. Let's get in there, and make it happen. I'd prefer to fight him at night, but you know, life—you don't always get what you want. right now. Gabos. Sometimes you do get what you need. I've yet to find myself in that circumstance, but it is what I've heard. Much point. 
and just trying to shoot them with arrows, you know, because they dodge everything all the time. But we'll try it, I guess. Slightly. All right. Uh, we seem to have scared them. They're still insistent on in shooting that guy. Real jerks, you know that goblins. Yeah, I'd be real careful about virtuing them. If I were you. Just chill there. They almost certainly squirm their way out of there, but that's okay. I say about being careful. Oh, you're too tired. Shenanigans. I like the noise they make when they run. It might be my favorite sound effect in this whole game. Just say. I only wish I could make that noise. I did here. The gobble fucker. It makes sense, but it's still insulting. Whatever. Brilliant. Come here, gobbles. Gobble sexual? Maybe that would have been a better joke. Well, we killed a fair amount of them. I'll call that a victory. They got the message. So, go away. We don't like you. Should I have enough food to do that? Uh, we yet to spot any... What the hell happened here? I don't know, but this thing won. And is invisible. Fine. Have a contest. Gain resolve. I don't know why this happens. That has to be a bug. Did I get a little? I didn't even notice. I sure did. Strong face here. He lost his dog, so I should give him a trinket, I suppose. Let's continue with that, I guess. He's brutal at what he does. Until we get you another dog, here's your trinket. Courage. S stuff. Stuff and courage. Two levels. Oh my! Firewolf got level. Of course he did. How would I not notice? It's this big level too. The one that we never thought would happen because he, you know, broke his elbow. God, what a great roll defense. God, you were going to be so good too. Plus one is so terrible. <sighs> so terrible. First you have. And your resolve is pretty decent. And you've got a very fancy hat. 
because you pull arm mastery. I feel like you really need pull arm mastery. Got that. Got rotation from when you were in the front line. Real shame about that. I wonder how fast adaptation works with multi-hitting things. There's no way it works. With each attack that misses an opponent. Because that could go really well with your ward scythe. Huh. I mean, it's good, but it's not that great. Hmm. That's yeah, good. Let's try. Why not? For science. <laughs> you need to learn how to make as a splint. Uh, surgery. Get your robotic arm. That would be awesome. There's a lot of like invisible mobs just kind of walking around. That makes me quite nervous. I don't care for that. There's lots of things we could be burning down here, though. Like I said before, though, I really just want to get out there and start exploring. Uh, let's hit up Muckinland real quick. Let's see. More beasts. Let's see if they got cheap food. They have jobs for us, worst case scenario. Uh, they do have reasonably priced food. They like us better than anyone, so their prices here are probably most likely willing to pay more than anybody else's. need all those hearts for, but we'll keep them anyways, I suppose. I'll buy this just in case we go out sport. Those are not bad prices for this things. What the hell happened out here, man? This came up this way. Went back into the mountains. You want to fight me? You have a hedge knight. Interesting. I don't think that's necessarily wise of you. Only one person has bandages. We should probably invest in more bandages. As everyone constantly comments. Oh, I missed it. Take care, Jess. Alright, let's hope this Hedge Knight has something worth it. I'll fight them just for the Hedge Knight. On better ground. Come here. I have no idea what's attacking me, even though I do. I have to defend myself, even though I'm attacking them. This all seems reasonable so far. 16 of them, not so bad. Just let them come on out. Hopefully the Hedge Knight has something really awesome. Chance it could be famed. Unless that's been changed. I believe that's how it used to be. We'll more than likely take a step forward so we can swing at people. But not until everyone steps out. There it is. Oh, that's not so bad. It's got some really nice gear though. I don't think we can equip it. But... Hey, hey, hey. Relax. for right now. If any luck, I would like to knife him to death. Somebody's left out in the open. What are you? 
you going, buddy? Yeah, I put your shield up to you, bud. Hey. Come on now. You don't get attacked this turn, that's, that's what it is. chance is not that great, Astro. Astro, why are you so bad at hitting people? 75. Hmm. I mean, I know he has shield wall up, but still. Uh, there we go. How's that for murder? 7, 7. So you guys are kind of left out in the open. I hope you feel exposed. We'll get you out of there, but I don't know if it will be in time, but we'll get you out of there. chance to hit him, so we'll go for him. Oh, I can't switch with you, damn. Hmm. Did you take 25? You could do it twice. So let's do it. No, we can't do it twice because we don't have the AP. Certainly you're a fool. Well, that's bad news for Werner, but it's just gonna be how it goes. Alright, Werner. Good dodge. He does have melee defense. He was originally a frontline guy. Alright, they are breaking apart, man. Oh, that is disappointing. Switch them out. Interesting moves. Dead. Very nice. I still have anything to do for you. Made a terrible mistake. You land a shot. Very nice. Let's get people up here and see what we can do. Still dodging. Still dodging better than other people are. Let's see if we can do to take this armor from him. Now that makes me feel a bit better about that situation. You don't have a knife? Of course you don't. You just hold him down then. Pull out your knife. Let's get everyone up in there. I cannot believe he's not breaking more. Hopefully this will be the end of the year. Alright. Well, it didn't look like he had anything that famed, but we did get another two-handed flail. Which is something. 
I mean, they're worth a fair amount. And they're pretty dangerous, so I'll take it. They had a fair amount of money on them. And food for that matter. We didn't get his helmet, which is weird, but we did get his armor. It's heavy. It has heavy armor, man. So I don't know if we really have anybody that can even wear it. But they're expensive. Alright, let's go tell them about the uh, goblins we killed. Got our three grand. Trolled is finally doing better. What's this contract all about? More green skin problems. Around scrolled. Ugh. Goblins again. Destroy the overgrown homestead. Go west. I'm really sick of going out there, man. Like, I like Shkold as much as the next guy. I do. They're they're nice people. I guess. It's $1,000. I'll keep it. It's nice to know that's worth $1,000, though. Things you're selling me here are expensive. Roger. It's not a very intimidating name, but... Hey, you do you, friend. I'll buy the bandages, because I just had a discussion about that. And I meant it. And then I guess we'll head out. You don't have your legendary thingy in the anymore. We already looked at you. You have a decent helmet that I probably should take up. Any good rumors? No. We got a lot of food. Let's head out and do things and stuff. Let's put you back out there. I need to get that third one for this ambition. And while we're at it, why don't we pair that? And that. Let's just see. Let's just go exploring. I don't really like the swamps, but that's what's out here, so. I don't really have anything to gain from attacking you, so. Fuzz off. Hmm, <laughs> that seems terrible. Water, huh? Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting a lake or whatever that might be. That's also gonna be in a swamp. Oh, yeah, that's like a legitimate coastline there. Hmm, I wondered when I saw this water. But we should be able to cross here. And find more swamp. And an ancient temple. Okay. An ancient temple around an island seems reasonable. Now, I've done this before. So I'm familiar with the ancient temple. <clears throat> Excuse me now. Only half of the temple's entrance is visible, the rest since sunken into the earth, as though unsure whether to be a coffin or a mausoleum. Along a visible frieze, 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 you can see a stony relief of tables being thrown in and moneyed men, running from what looks like an armored skeleton with a whip. A few of the mercenaries seem uncomfortable with the idea of going in, but you've the notion that others have felt this way as well, and thus left the place unmolested. You take a torch out and enter with the sellsword spirit and robber's resolve. After gathering surprise, you crouch and enter the temple by slinging your legs over the earth and jumping into the steps below. The clap of your boots snickers into the marble halls and you wave the torch before you as you watch the echoes go. Looking back, the light between the shelf of the earth the temple silhouetting company as though 
They were the throng of sextons satisfying at their work. Hork shakes his head and says he's coming with. The rest of the company Mutri agrees to keep watch. We go in. The sides of the halls are blanketed in military mosaics so large that more fit to a whole campaign than a single battle. One parcel in particular stretches seemingly forever down the hall. A scene of armored men running a Roshed over what looks like a barbarian horde so thick in number they lose humanity and begin to look indiscernible from bugs. Their torch bulbs and dims in the dark. The light bringing an artist's battlefield to an organish life in the corners of you. In the corners you find depictions of righteous torture and outrage. Between the locked up forces and the dismembered mobs, it looks like order and chaos have come to clash. And while order is surely set to win, it's chaos itself which is driving the way to victory. Horik whistles. And you look to see a torch flaring in the distance like an Ignis Fatchus. Ignis Fatchus? I don't know what any of these things are. You run over to him, finding a vial with strange liquid inside. Selsword swings his torch to an alcove in the wall. Mobbard pours post towards the center, and there's a throng of skeletons at its base. I found this vial in the pedestal over here. I see two more like it yonder, but they're behind gates. You ask a cell sword why I didn't tell you about the bodies. He shrugs. I ain't breathing. And I ain't caring. You want to make a try for the other two flasks, right? We get a flask of blast, blessed water. We found the next vial behind a chest-high gate. The flask itself is grasped in stone claws of wingless gargoyle. Hanging down from the ceiling, there are a few glyphs on a slab in front of the gate. The words ancient, and even if they weren't, you know, even if they weren't, you, hold on, let me try that third time. Third time's going to be it. But the words are ancient, and even if they weren't, you're not sure how well you'd be able to read them anyways. Suddenly, a voice booms. A flock of birds are in a field, but a hunter comes along. The hunter draws an arrow and yells out through, as though in pain. The birds fly up. The hunter kills them. Murbirds fly up. The hunter kills them as well. And he begins to cry as he collects their bodies. Murbirds fly at the sound of him. The hunter is crying and killing. He can hardly notch arrows fast enough, and he has to pause to wipe his eyes. One bird turns to his friend and he says, Should we console the man? What does the bird's friend say in return? Never mind his tears. Watch his hands. From the brink of a broken man must be saved. Chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Hmm. Or what? So obviously it's a riddle. If we guess correctly, we, we get another one. I don't remember which one I answered before. I got it right. Let's go with from the brink of a broken man must be saved. Correct. Jolting with ancient engineering, the gate slides down and the gargoyle lowers within his arm's reach. The vial's rigid guardian staring at the stoic bomb. You grab the vial and hold it close as the monstrous stonework might come to life and take it back. You wave your torch around and demand to know who's speaking. The voice laughs, but that is all. Hork looks at you and shrugs. Well, we got the treasure, didn't we know? No harm in taking and in, in trying for another. You get the flask. Might as well see. The last vial is behind another gate, an unsettling look to an unsettling one to look at it just by the architectural standpoint. There are not mere stone bars here, but a twisted iron spirals, scarred with scora and slag. The gate is not chest level, but shins. The vial itself is a further rise, meaning you'd have to reach under the wall, and then up again. The voice returns. For me, all things begin. For me, all things return. When men cross the earth, I follow in his footsteps. You stand in silence. Hork shrugs. Dust. As soon as words leave your mouth, the gate jolts open. You pensively stare at the remaining gap. Hork crouches down, slings his arm under the gateway atop, and gets the vial. His fingers scrape across the bottle. The gate spirals rather in, the ch in their catches, like a bear's reluctantly letting someone brush its teeth. The man finally pinches the vial between the two fingers like a scissor flips it up at the safe embraces of his palm. Simple enough, eh? You nod, and then around with your torch, you yell out, 
demanding to know who's talking. There is no answer. A brief search in the darkness turns up no hidey holes or dugouts. But you do find some scraps and notes with drawings on them. The pages seem to indicate the vials are capable of killing feeder gangers with but one single touch of the liquid within each flask. It's also a sticky paper with a crude drawing of a woman on it. Whoever was here, you don't care. You take the vials back out and return to the absurdists. They draw swords at the sound of you, and then sheathe sheath them once they see your face. Sorry, Captain. Thought you might be dead. You're walking. A walking dead man. We got three vials. It would be very nice. And we could easily use them to maybe go visit those vampires and say hello. What fun. We have a fair amount of food left, too. Whoa, those are some big footprints. And some goblin hunters there. More Nox Airs. There's that boat we've already seen. Uh, let's continue to head west. Orc hunters. Orcs, where did you come from? God, why is there so much swamp? I do not like the swamp. See if we can cut up here. Get up here before it gets too dark. Ah, uh, we didn't spot anything. I'm quite surprised. Probably could have fought those orcs and gotten some food. Let's. Uh, Jump down, go through the forest, and see. Let's get back up here. Still nothing, huh? I've gone a fair amount of ways. Oh, it's you. If this is going to be most of the ocean out here. We kind of got really screwed. I expected this to be more land. That's alright. It's what it is. No big deal. What do we find? Orc Hunters, what appears to be a giant orc city with a warlord, many warriors. Lots of orc young. That's nothing I really want to tangle with. Don't think we're in quite good shape for it. And an ancient statue. Which is exciting, but I've also done this one too. Regardless, let's go find it. I don't I don't even remember what we got from it, if anything. A good man, the size of castles, is atop a stone throne with such gust stature that it seems that even he, as an inanimate as he is, should rule the land. And perhaps the word would be better for it. This non speaking entity with such an awesome presence would make a finer ruler than a lot of skunks you constantly run into. The bulk of the statue rests upon an enormous disc made with spiraling stones, square stones. Were they coffins, they would take all two bricks to store the absurdist's hole. It's down to the mad tilts his head on. If it ain't the biggest thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. The bricked stone face smirks and makes a reach for the sword's crotch. His own crotch. I thought the woman folks said that that little worm was the biggest thing they ever saw. No, maybe it was his crotch, whatever. It's a dick, dick joke. You've heard it before. As the company laughs, you step forward and look at him. You're not much for kneeling, but you feel the urge here. The statue staring out in the world with firm and thirty, and its hands are out at the sides. One upon the sword, staked into the earth. And the other, supinated, 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 probably supinated, as though to weigh justice itself. Nod at the golden sheen present before you. That there is not a single scratch of the would-be robber suggested in its sterile presence still has some ethereal grip on the world. But that doesn't make any sense. A smart man would nick a fair share from this statue. Shins alone. A few mercenaries ask if they could have a stab at it, collecting some gold for themselves. There's no harm in it. The statue is so huge, perhaps it scared off the lesser scapegraces by superstition alone. You have no reason to let that good thing go. Like a nearly 
in this pile of gold shaped into something quote-unquote pretty to hell with history and artistry. You tell the men to have at it. They leap to the task with tools available. But the second that Grimold the torturer makes contact, he falls in limp and slumps against the statue. Another mercenary goes to help him, brushes the enormous toe, and collapses atop the cell sword. Just as the company begins to panic, two mercenaries bolt back to their feet and start screaming about their amazing sights. Sights beyond this world, sights of the future itself. Invigorated by this, the company gladly runs themselves into the statues, the lot banging against its giant toes and falling backward like mimes, unexpectedly finding a very real wall. It's like the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen, but each man springs back to his feet, spilling out fantastic stories. You shrug and walk up the statue song. Standing before the big toe, big toenail, the men urge you forward, sighing you put your hand on the, out and touch the toenail. Nothing. Nothing happens. You fist the gap between the nail and the golden flesh. You angrily put both hands on the toe, like it owes you money. Nothing. Well then, looks like you've riches to harvest. You draw your sword. You swing your sword at the second steel, but the second the steel touches the gold, the sheen of the world flashes over you as though you struck the sun itself and drew blood. The sword continues into the darkness like a star across the night sky and it cuts the world of its own into reality. As though you've slashed the magician's cloth off his trick, revealing a room of pillared corners and beautiful silk curtains. And the sword continues on until it slams against a spear shaft. You look down and you see a man with gilded armor and red eyes holding his guard with a grimace. He slides across the tiled floor to his right and lets your momentum fall to the ground. He then sw twirls the spear around and back strikes it forward. You throw your arm wide and close rank with the killer, catching the spear shaft between your armpit and driving it forward to stab, stab him beneath his pauldron. Driving the sword into the heart, the man's red eyes drain to pure white and goes limp and slides off the steel. As he captures to the ground, you quickly look around against the four walls, stand an enormous bed with corners of marble, each statue shaped to a woman or a man. Each of them adorned submissively to what looks like a rising sun. There's an elderly man in the bed who is looking at you, bearded, eyes dim and weathered. Familiarity is in his stare. He smiles, but it quickly fades. He yells, but you don't understand the words. A shadow slides across the room, and you wheel around to see a large knight with fire in his eyes, bearing down with a two-hander. You step back and flip your sword crosswise, and crouch at the knees to brace for impact. The killer's two hands slams against your sword, just like the word snaps. The world snaps away, and still frozen in parry, you can feel the insurance of time and space fly by your sides, like a plow wind, and ungodly amounts of suffering, screaming, living, and dying. In the far distance of speck of light, the fast approaches until you arrive back into your body, and your sword hits the statue and swings backwards so hard it flies out of your hand, and sails through the air until stabbing into the earth with an un with an earthen clunk. The men look around. About one another. You go and fetch your sword. I think you broke it, sir. Says Astro as he gets handsy with a pinky toe. You tell him and the rest of the men to go pack their things. It's time to leave this place. Looking at the statue, you see that it is all rusted in bronze. You think to ask one of the mercenaries if it had been gold earlier, but you already know the answer. Instead, you stare at the head of the statue, the face the very familiar face. Everyone's happy? It's not to dwell on this. Yeah, the first time I did this, I was terrified. I was like, giant statue. Crap, we're gonna die. We're gonna have to fight it. Luckily, not the case. But it is still just as freaky. Uh, we still have a fair amount of food. About two days. Let's keep exploring a bit. As I'm slowly feeling better, I'm slowly getting less bad at reading. The writing in this is just so good. You find Werner nursing a rather large tankard next to a fire. In fact, it's not a tankard at all, but a wooden bucket he's filled with air. A few more modest mugs are littered about his feet. He tips back, gulping the bucket's lip. When he sees you, he tries to dress up. Sloughing the foam off his face and attempting to smile, quickly slips into a drunken frown. 
Hey there, Captain. Didn't mean for you to see me like this. Set some stuff back down. I'm being drunk. Uh, he's upset about all his friends dying. All the ones that have got murdered. Most importantly, Sniper Bear. He's become drunk. Uh, that's alright. It's Burner. I don't really care if he becomes a drunkard. It uh, hurts his melee skill a little bit, but honestly, it makes him do more damage. At this point, it's one of the better things that could happen to him. It really has. Let's keep going a bit here. Alright, fair enough. Ooh, here's another one. And this is a really good spot for it, too. So this is another one I've done, the Ancient Spire. We're just exploring all kinds of awesome things today. I hope you like adventure. Spire is twice as tall as any castle you've seen, and narrower than any tower. It is as though someone had all the material to build a fortress, and instead of building the bastion, they built the spire. Warner squints as he looks up at the rise. Like it goes on forever, sir. Damn near right to the clouds. You enter with a map and a few men. Inside you find a glass sphere sitting on a hollowed lantern. Inside, the bulb sits some powdery remains, perhaps the last shirts. Magic. You know not. Intuition tells you that whoever dwelled in this slender refuge did not always take the stairs, but you'll have to. The climb is brutal and long. At the top, you find yet another bulb, this one jagged and shattered. And beneath the glass is a skeleton. A broken staff lies nearby. You shake your head and head towards the crenellations. I don't know what that is. So far... Are the sights, the world itself seems to curve at the horizon. A strange trick of the eye, no doubt. You draw the geography upon your map. Take a five minute breather and descend back down. When you get to the bottom, the skeleton is there with a the staff beside it, and the busted bulb is on the lantern. Lectern. The whole group of men are out, out the door, and you're hot on their heels. Looking back, you see the spire's gate slowly close with a magic a mighty metal click. Well, at least we've got the lay of the land. And sure did we. Not much to say for it. At least it looks like there's a lot to explore up here. So, it seems like we'll be spending more time up here than I originally thought. Lots of orcs this way. Up and down. I guess I don't know what the difference between that and a rampart is. I'm not much of a castle person. I like knights and all, but... Uh, and I know this is going to come to a shock. I'm kind of stupid. I'm not smart when it comes to these things. You want to know how to clean a wound with honey packets from Kraft? I'm your man. You want to know how to pronounce a word? Hmm. You came to the wrong guy. Some goblin footprints, it looks like. Let's have this way. We need to get back to town here soon. These people don't particularly love us. But they'll like us enough for food. Here's a witch hunt. Uh, that is a place I do want to come back to. Apostate's Secret Abode. That's a place I wouldn't mind hitting up either, actually. Let's go back to Norheim for now. These are two places I like to visit. This is an event that I've only started. I was doing it this morning. I yet to finish it. More undead. So when we do the undead uprising, it is going to be for real going on up here. they got plenty of food for us up here. Uh, but the witch hunt thing is going to be interesting. Uh, hopefully we can survive it well enough. And hopefully we'll get something awesome for it. I don't know what it is. What are these footprints up here for? Uh, the game seemed to have froze. I mean, it's still playing music, but I've had this happen to me before. So basically, it's just not bringing up the screen for the town. So we're going to have to uh, save and quit, but it's about time to take a break anyways, so I guess that works out. So we'll take a break here. Crenellation's at the part of the wall, just like a rampart. It just means it's a large wall with a walkway. Alright, so yeah, it's what I had in mind. It's just a word I've never heard before. 
and hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Alright, so we'll take a quick break, I'll reset the game so we can hopefully uh, get past this bug here. And then uh, we'll continue on to some adventure, some real adventure. It's been a lot of fun. See you guys then.